Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now Cyberpunk 2077 update 1.3 is out and it's pretty big, coming in at around 34 gigabytes on PC. From the patch notes it seems that the stability and performance changes included mostly benefit last gen consoles and lower performance machines, which is music to my ears. To see how things differ from patch 1.23, I fired up my Athlon 3000G APU machine with 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz dual channel DDR4 and ran a couple of tests before and after the latest update. Cyberpunk is best played at 50% of 720p resolution with this APU, though the average frame rate under version 1.23 always comes in at just less than 30. It's impressive considering that this is a two core chip with integrated Vega 3 graphics, but it's not consistently playable. After installing 30 gigs worth of update however, I found that with this APU, system memory usage was lower and we actually saw an improvement not only to the average frame rate but to the 1 and 0.1% lows as well. Before we were using nearly 9 gigs of RAM but this time around, usage clocked in at less than 8. This gives the APU a little more breathing room and in turn gives us a slight FPS boost. An FPS boost that might be lost in Night City but in less populated areas, well, you can certainly notice a small difference. I then switched to my i5-10400F system and paired this capable 6-core CPU with a not-so-capable 4GB RX460, taking the performance comparisons downtown. Again, 30fps is a struggle but the average comes back at just over, with 900p being the best bet here in order to maintain smooth-ish gameplay. That or an adjustment to resolution scale. Now in the case of this setup, the system memory usage was almost the same along with CPU and GPU usage. The average and 1% figures were however a bit worse, but, and there is a but, the differences between the 1 and 0.1% figures with the newest patch were smaller, indicating slightly less stutter. This is something I definitely felt with this new update, it certainly seemed a little smoother, with less significant drops happening as we moved from sparse to dense areas. Things seem to be getting better for lower end PC users, that's for sure, when it comes to running Cyberpunk, at least from my findings, though there isn't really anything significant in the way of performance changes, but it's nice to know that they are there, especially with these APUs. Let me know how the update changes things for you below and as always thank you very much for watching. If you like this one leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.